Good morning and a very warm welcome to our morning prayer on Friday. We're here with some members of our Karori small group who are gathered together to lead us today in morning prayer. Through Jesus, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge God's name. Open our lips, O Lord, and, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The Song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, you have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way. To give God's people knowledge of salvation <clears throat> through the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, beginning at verse 20. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bils oh, sorry, my eyesight, was from Bilsada in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life shall lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Where Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will be my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Can I read on from there? Yes, I think so. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, we have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. 
Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. We hold a moment of silence to reflect on the challenge of God's word to us today. I'm going to say the anthem, Saviour of the world. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Thanks be to you, O Lord. Amen. Now we're going to pray. Just to remember, um, we'll start with uh, praying globally. So we'll think of different parts of the world. And then we'll pray locally. And then we'll pray for individuals that are dear to us that we want to remember. So let's just think for a moment as we pray for parts of the world where the pandemic, for example, is still out of control, particularly in Europe, anticipating another wave, uh, but also uh, uh, the more vulnerable parts of our world where the health services are not so well equipped and resourced. So Lord, we pray that you would be with those who are working hard to bring this pandemic to an end. We pray for government leaders, but also for doctors and nurses and uh, all those working in the health services to care and support. And we pray for the most vulnerable, that you would bring your healing and bring your peace. We pray also for parts of the world where there's violence and warfare and people are left with no home, seeking asylum and refuge. We pray for these very difficult times for those people. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We picture in our mind's eye our local communities, those whose lives touch ours, our neighbours, those who work and live around us. And so we pray, Lord, for your kingdom to come and your will to be done in our lives locally. We think of those that we live among and we ask for your Holy Spirit to guide us in showing them Jesus. May we be people who bear his image and speak of his love and light. We pray too for those situations locally which make the news headlines. We pray for all victims of abuse, those who are going through the Royal Commission process. And we ask for your mercy and your justice. We pray too for the lives of our loved ones, whether near or far. And we give thanks for all those who care for us and provide support. Would you bless those known to us who are in need this day? Let's name before God in the quiet of our own hearts 
those who need the light of his love and his healing touch today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We just pray for um, uh, pray for Ken and Debbie and Matt and Chrissy for your healing touch. Pray for Bernus and Jen. Pray for Virginia and Rufus. Pray for Gillian and Christopher. For Evelyn and John. Pray for Kayla. Pray for Helen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Now let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be your your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our morning collect. Loving God, your Son willingly endured agony and shame for us. Give us grace to take up our cross and follow him in newness of life and hope, for he is our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for morning prayer today. We pray God's blessings on you as we celebrate Palm Sunday coming up this weekend. Now let us bless the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us. It's goodbye from the Karori House house group here and we hope you have a really good day. Bye. 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 Bye.